I'm tired. welcome back to my channel my name is Anastasia and welcome to today's video which is just gonna be a spend the day with me on a going to the office day I primarily work remotely but once a week we like to get together and head to the office so that is what we're doing today so today is Wednesday we go into the office on Wednesdays it used to be Tuesdays but we switched it up and I kind of like going in on Wednesdays more since I feel like it actually kind of halves the week. Last night for a little two for one movie special, my boyfriend and I went to go see It Ends With Us. I swear to God, he was like the only guy in that theater. It was so funny. I thought it was okay. I read the book a couple years ago, so I don't really remember the ins and outs of it, to be honest, but it just felt very like, it was good, I guess. I don't know, it was entertaining. I don't think it was great. It felt a bit rushed, like, I don't know, my boyfriend said that too because he had no idea what he was going into. He doesn't really like to watch movie trailers or anything, but he he said, he was like, oh, I feel like they just, it was like really, really slow and then all of a sudden they were married, she was pregnant, like blah, 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 and I was like, yeah, I don't know. Seemed like weird product placement throughout the whole thing, I understand, like, I think I've seen clips going around where they said they didn't have a huge budget, but I just like don't really understand that statement when you're making movies, like, obviously there's budget. I actually just really wanted to see it so that I didn't see any spoilers online. I just kind of wanted to see what all the fuss was about, but I'm glad I saw it. I'm also glad I saw it on a two for one day, so that should tell you something. But yeah, it was good. What am I doing today? I think at work today, I'm like doing some video editing. I think that's the plan. I think there's also a photo shoot on today for some pr new product. So I'm not sure if I can show that. I don't know about you guys, but, and I'm I'm very well aware that it is August, but I've just been getting so much like autumn content being pushed on my YouTube and my TikTok. And I'm kind of here for it. I am, I am on TikTok last night as I was scrolling. I saw like five or six people go into their local Primark and they had those like viral jumpers from last year. And I got like a dark gray one last year and I live in it. And I was so upset that I didn't actually grab the other colors when I saw them, but I didn't realize how good they were. I just bought the one color. I think after work today, when I get back, we should pop into Primark and just have a little look, just a little look and just see. And then I also maybe want to go to Space and K and buy the Briogeo. Don't, don't despair, repair hair mask. I don't really know what I want to wear today, but I also don't really know what the weather's gonna be like. I wish I was better at like eye makeup. I feel like I just always go for bronzer on my eyelids and that's it. But like a cute little wing would be so nice or like like low-key eyeshadow. I don't know how to do low-key eyeshadow without it being like bright pink. I guess it's like practice makes perfect. I feel like I get to this point where I'm like if I can't do it instantly, then I just can't do it at all, which is just like not the mindset. I need to get out of that. These are my two favorite baby pink blushes that I love to layer on top of each other. So first step, I rave about this blush all the time. This is not new. This is Elf Putty Blush in Bora Bora. It is, oh, it's kind of dirty, but it is this beautiful pink color and I live for it i just think it's so so pretty sometimes i do just wear that one on its own but i have found that these two layered together it doesn't look any different but i feel like it just sets it in place because they're virtually the same shade but this is the mac hawkins like stranger things blush and this is in the shade friends don't lie and it is the definition of a bubblegum pink it's so cute and this is my tried and true elf blush brush i've had this thing for years 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 and i saw a pack of these brushes once at tk maxx and i didn't buy them and i'm so upset and i'm kicking myself so every time i go to tk maxx i always check to see if they have them because this one is falling apart but yeah i just layer this on top and it doesn't actually look any different but it just like sets that creamy 
kind of texture with this powder one. I think I look a little bit insane actually. Whoa. Blush blind. I just tend to take my bronzer brush and diffuse and hope for the best. Got a spot here. Can you see? It's just like a dark mark from squeezing a pimple. Awful. I got a lash lift like maybe three, four weeks ago. And they're still like pretty lifted. Um, they just kind of like start to drop a little bit in my inner corner but it's hard to just like curl those and this eye always just gets a little bit like frazzled every time i get it done like the lashes just get like crisscrossy i just wish they were like thicker because obviously like when you get your lashes lifted they dye them but my lashes are dark they're just not thick so it doesn't look like i have tons of lashes which i don't yeah this one's just always a little bit more <laughs> frazzled 740 I need to pick an outfit and then I think I want to take a little outfit TikTok. I don't know what I want to wear today but I want to wear something that is like comfy but still cute I've been like for ages saying how lost I felt with with clothing and with fashion and stuff so Anytime I do go to the office, I try a little bit just to make a little bit of effort and like feel like I'm trying to be a bit pro <clears throat> be a bit proactive with not loving my outfits recently. I say that. Watch, I'm gonna wear the most basic outfit today. <laughs> On the lips today, I think I'm just gonna do. I think I'm just gonna whoop. Do my benefit. My benefit. My benefit lip stain. And I'm just gonna top it again, classic, with my Summer Fridays lip balm. I really want the iced, iced coffee flavor. Okay, let's pick an outfit. Hopefully you can see this okay. This is my outfit of the day with my little loafers. Um, the skirt is thrifted, top and sweater are from Primark. I have a little flower, I have a little flower clip in my hair that is also from Primark. My Dempsey Matter leather leopard tote. We know when we love her. And I'm also bringing this tote bag for later after work, just because I also have a lunch bag, so I'll put that in here so I don't have to like hold a bunch of things if I do end up going to Primark later, which I probably will. It is 8.02, so we need to run for the train. <laughs> Let's go. work I managed to finish a little bit early sorry it's loud I'm walking to the train but yeah I managed to finish a little early which is great so I can get an earlier train home and then have time to run my fun little errands sorry I didn't film much at work today but we were just filming like a new product launch so I can't really show stuff until it's out but yeah time to go home I'm finally back home. It is currently 6.36 and let me do a haul because I actually feel like I scored. I got, I like found everything that I was looking for. So I'm like so pleased. I wasn't anticipating that at all. I actually was thinking I was going to probably strike out. So first, I went to Space and K. It's just like so lovely in there. It kind of reminds me of like a low-key Sephora, but there's no Sephora's in, in Leeds, unfortunately. There is a Sephora in Manchester though, so I feel like once I run out of a few things and I need to do a big shop, I'm gonna just like take a day and go to Sephora in Manchester. So I got two things at Space and K. I got the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. I'm really excited about this. I've heard really good things about this and I just feel like I wanna integrate a hair mask into my shower routine. I feel like I, I kind of wanna like do something new with my hair. It's getting like really long and it's feeling a bit your hair is dead. Your hair looks dead. Does anybody remember that from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? 
I don't like your hair. It's dumb. Your hair looks like it's dead. All right, that's it. I feel like I need to get like a trim, just chop off dead ends, and then really start focusing on like practicing a healthy hair journey. So anyways, I got the Briogeo hair mask. And then the second thing was definitely more of a want than a need. So I decided to get the iced, the iced coffee lip butter balm from Summer Fridays. I have the vanilla, I put it on this morning in this vlog, you know. And I just had to get the iced coffee one. So let's, let's just try it. Let's just give it a go. First, based on smell alone, it smells delicious. It smells exactly like an iced coffee. Let's see if it'll focus. There it is. Mmm, it smells so good. First impressions of this are it smells way better than I thought it was going to. That smells incredible. I'm so pleased. I mean, it's just a lip balm, but it is beautiful. I love this. I'm so pleased. <laughs> now for this giant bag. I really told myself that I was going to stop buying stuff at Primark, but I think I need to change the game. I need to change my rule. And it's not to... It's, it's, it's not stopping buying stuff altogether at Primark because I do feel like Primark has some great pieces at a great price, but I think it's like to be a bit more intentional. I think it's a great way to try out a trend if you don't wanna to commit to something fully or if you just find a staple piece that you love. I mean, like I said, when I showed you guys my outfit this morning, this top is from Primark and so is my cardigan today, but those are just like staple pieces that I want in my wardrobe at really great prices. I went looking for the beautiful viral Primark sweaters from last autumn, which I bought in like a beautiful gray. It was like a really dark gray color. And then they also had the baby pink last year, which I didn't get, which I'm not that upset about. I do think people look really cute in the baby pink color, but it wasn't like speaking to me that much. I went and I'm so glad I went when I did because there was limited sizing left of the colors that they had, but I bought basically one of every color they had because you guys don't understand how much I wore that sweater last year and every time I wore it I was like oh, I wish I had it in a different color because it's just so dark let me show you I got it in a lighter gray which is so beautiful I think this looks so chic it's lovely they were all 17 pounds which I can't remember what I paid last year for it, but that would be interesting. I wonder if they marked the price up knowing that it was like super viral last year. For a sweater that I know I wore so much last year, I feel like 17 pounds is fine. I'm happy to pay that because I know I will get tons of wear out of these. So, beautiful light gray. And then I got it in this beautiful camel color. This is like super, super nice. I feel like this will look really good with like gold hoops like big chunky gold hoops, so cute. And then I was umming and eyeing about this one and because I didn't get the baby pink, I was like, you don't need this one, like don't do it, stick to some neutral colors. But then I tried it on and I was like, I have to get it. But can we talk about this beautiful color? <gasps> oh. I just feel like this is so stunning. And considering I tried this on with my denim skirt, I actually thought it was such a cute look. Like this cozy sweater, my denim skirt, and my like tall knee high black boots. So cute. Like slicked back hair, big chunky like silver hoop maybe. I just think this is so adorable. So yeah, these are the colors of the sweater I got. I'm obsessed and then I'll have a really dark gray. But I'm an autumn girly at heart. And then I did get one other thing, which is a bit random, but I saw it on TikTok. Again, I got sucked in. But I saw it on TikTok and I was like, you better believe that I'm about to have an Elena Gilbert autumn. If this doesn't scream Elena Gilbert autumn, I don't know what does. Like, I, <laughs> it's just so cute. So yeah, this is just like a little fake under bit. I kind of wish it was like just sewn on. I feel like it's a bit random that it's just loose, but it looks so cute. <laughs> and I just, yeah. I will be channeling my inner um, Elena Gilbert when I wear this. I just think it's so cute. Like, just cash, cash vibes. I feel like I actually scored so hard. I wasn't anticipating spending any money. I actually thought it was gonna be a big flop, but I'm pleased. On my way home, I also stopped at Tesco and I just picked up a few things which are here 
on the counter. I saw this recipe on Instagram. Let me find it. It just kind of looked really good and then I haven't stopped thinking about it since I saved it and that was only like two days ago, but still. It's one pot cheesy taco rice. I don't know why I wanna eat that so badly, but I really, really do. So I can't decide if I wanna cook now. It's like 10 to seven. I kind of wanna like shower. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna put stuff away and I think I'm gonna take my makeup off and have a quick shower and then I'm gonna cook and then that way we can just like eat and then just become a vegetable and get horizontal in bed. That sounds like a dream. I'm gonna get some fresh water and put all my stuff away and I will meet you guys in the bathroom and I will talk you through my evening skincare situation. <laughs> Are these really giant cotton pads that I bought from Boots? I got them in my last my last vlog which was my like sunday chill day with me vlog but i'm just gonna use this and some of this garnier micellar water i'm just gonna hop in and have a body shower so i'll do my second cleanse in the shower but this is the cleanser that i'm currently using from skin fix and it's a foaming clay cleanser so i'm gonna hop in and have a body shower and then i will walk you through my evening skincare steps post shower i'm going in with this toner again very like calming and soothing so i'm just gonna run over my skin and then i just like to take a little fan Whoa. and just speed the process up i'm going in with some of this it cosmetics bye bye breakout um the serum and it's got salicylic acid lactic acid and postbiotics and it's really good for um dark spots so I'm just gonna put a few drops in the hand and just press that in but focus it on that dark spot there and just hope that it goes away next i'm going on with my same multi-peptide eye serum i really like this stuff this is my second bottle of it and i'm almost done but i don't know i get in like moods where i'm like oh i loved this serum but i kind of want to try something different that's like why if it works <laughs> For my night cream, I've been using the Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask. This basically says that it's gentle enough that you can use it every day as like a moisturizer and I have been and my skin loves this stuff. It is so hydrating. I'm actually almost at the bottom of this and I'm so sad. But I really love Fresh products. I kind of, like until I had this in my collection again, I kind of forgot about Fresh and I used to use it so, so much. This stuff is super thick and hydrating. This is the Nouveau Lashes Lash and Brow Conditioning Serum. I just put this, oh, hello. I just put this through my brows and on my lashes as well. And then last but not least, a little bit of lip balm. This is my very bougie Gucci lip balm. It is stunning though. Let's cook dinner. what happened the pan's not big enough maybe should have done this in like a really big pot but i don't even think i have a pot big enough for this we're really risking it here she looks delicious like how good does that look i grated a little bit of cheese and put it on the bottom of the bowl and i'm just gonna put some in here and then it said to eat it with doritos so let's try that i got the cool original Doritos. And I'm just gonna scoop some of the mixture on. Bon appetit. It's really hot, but it's really, really nice. It just tastes like taco meat. <laughs> just tastes like taco meat um, and rice. I, I understand why they, they said to put like a ton of cheese in, because I think it would just make it like gooey and delicious to eat with Doritos. I feel like the Doritos are a bit random, but I like it. Mm. I'm gonna eat my dinner. I watched The Office. 
I'm so full. It was so yummy though. While it was cooking, I did most of the dishes, but I'm just gonna clean my bowl now and then put leftovers in a container, put them in the fridge. It's horizontal time, baby. I'm so excited. I might also just have like a cheeky half hour scroll on all the apps. I haven't done it yet, so I feel like I need to. Well, I don't need to, I want to. Okay, I'm in bed. I have my little neon light on to set the vibes. It is currently 9.30. I'm gonna mindlessly scroll for a bit. I think I'm just gonna start editing this video which will be fun. Anyways, that's everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had fun filming today, so hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!